Alrighty, guys. Something different for sure. Today we're checking out Harold Halibut. It's a game all about a fish. No, it's not. I don't know what it's about, actually. But it is claymation style, and it's on Game Pass. And uh, it's intriguing to me. Apparently, a game 14 years in the making finally came out. Take a look. Options. What kind of options do we have for Harold, ha Harold Halibut? Game? Subtitles. Subtitles says large. Yeah, let's do large. Enable vibration. Display. Performance or quality. Let's do performance. Brightness. I guess we'll leave everything on standard. Audio. Audio mode headphones. Surround. Let's do surround. For me, anyway. <laughs> oh, let's see. Main volume, everything. You want to save the settings? Yes, I do. Because I'll have surround sound. I'll actually have surround sound because on Xbox, I get it. So I actually on my pad here, I'll get a little bit of surround sound. Okay, Ponage101 says this game is, it's on Game Pass, but it's $34.99 or $35 USD if uh, you don't have Game Pass. So it'll be interesting to see what the game is. By the way, I just received an incredibly generous $50 contribution. Thank you for all you do and keep up your good work. Thank you so much, whoever that was. Much, much, much appreciated. Well, well this, this is a, an odd soundtrack, though. Kind of, uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of groovy. Guitar with a, an effect on it. Yeah. All right, so that was 50 bucks. That means it is time for you guys to vote on a hat for me to wear for today's Harold Palibit premiere stream. I have no idea what to expect in this game, so we're about to find out, I guess. Um, all right, let's do a quick poll. So, which, which hat is, which hat is halibut best? <laughs> the, well, we wore the cowboy hat yesterday. So let's, uh, let's do the beret. Let's do the red fedora, the Los Santos hat. Or can I say cap or uh Alibi. Now the fishing lure hat has too many lures on it, it's too dangerous. I think eventually what I'll do if we ever play a fishing game again, we'll like start it over. Because there's too much on it. Like I would wear it without the lures, but I have to take them all off. Uh let's do Oh, let's do the fake hair hat. I always forget about that one these days. Yeah, that hat has so many fishing lures on it with big sharp hooks and shit. Every time I put it on, I'm nervous because they start moving around and falling off. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to get hooked on this thing. All right, here we go. Harold Hallaby. See what it's all about. Oh, I like that loading. Did you see that? It was a fish that was wiggling. That was the loading icon. Ooh. <laughs> under the sea, under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea. We like it better down where it's wetter. <laughs> Man, we're going into the deep darkness of the uh, the dark sea, huh? Look how deep they are. They're like maybe like three, four feet. Look at that thing. Creatures you've never even seen before. Creatures we haven't even documented. Living down here. Things that look like cre alien creatures. The Little Mermaid 3, The Rise of Harold Halibut. Okay. <laughs> now, that would be that would be interesting. Cro Disney crossover. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Uh, That's got to be some pressurized-ass glass to not be cracking under that weight or under that pressure underwater here. cutscene. Remember, we have it on performance mode. I think it's going to be 60 frames, but the cutscene, I guess, is 30. So it's a whole underwater like like civilization. A whole underwater city. People. Look, they even have, like, arts. Like, they have a stage. Are those twins? Those are twins. Gertrude's beer zone. This sports. Wait a minute. What sports could you have underwater? Oh, they're a mugshot. 
Man, crime is bad even underwater. Look at that. You can't, you can't escape it. <clears throat> Looks like Psychonauts, says Jade. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a unique art style, right? Let's see what happens. Is this the game now? Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Uh oh. oh. Hi, Major. What's the You're matter? under arrest. Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine. Your unpaid fine. Uh oh. I had a fine. You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait. I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. Uh-oh. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Oh, my Wait. God. But only last month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold. What the rules make me. Oh, no. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. Right to jail with this guy. Toss him right in a cell. Let him rock. No one skirts the law in the undersea kingdom. You understand? <laughs> what is going on? I have no idea what they're talking about. Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. What? I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. This is weird. The art style is actually, like, completely unique. Because the character models look real, but you can see when you look close... That they're not. Like, you, if you look up close, you can see that Harold had, like, paint. Like, their faces are painted. But they move and look real, right? Like, like they're real people. Huh. Anyway. I just have to sit and wait. I wonder what would happen if I tried to leave. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Do they look real? Well, like I said, you can see the paint Hi, uh, uh, on them. Look, before you say anything, uh -oh. whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. You're grounded, Mr. son. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Vandervaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Vandervaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! What did the kid do? Wait, so every crime is just is is a fine? We like literally like every crime. Your daily business for an important, <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Uh oh. Dear people, crew, and company, we nice seem hair. to discover uh -huh. something super cool. Mm. Super Please cool. Do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theater to for some important information. We discovered something super cool. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. She has an arm missing. She has a robot hand. Did you see that? So I guess this game has, like, unique futuristic tech. If they're living underwater, I mean, obviously. Here, just knock this guy in the head. Bonk him on the head. Here, steal, <laughs> steal all his funds. Take his funds to pay for things. Right? Here we go. Alright, well. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. Oh, great. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. 
All right, tube travel. So I guess they go through probably those underwater tubes that you I see in other things. Something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window. See you later. <laughs> Why can't I go in here? See you later. I want to hear you lecture me. No time for that. Look at this. The water looks so fake. It looks like it's made of glass, right? Like it's a light bulb. What the heck? The standy wave? That's weird. It looks like a projection. It is a projection. Because you can block it and there's the camera projecting it. How weird is that? This is like a unique... It's so weird because they have tube TVs. And they have projectors, yet they have the ability to be underwater. So it's like future tech, but retro future tech, right? Huh. Whoa. Neon sign, AW. I was never in a daydream, just... All water? The other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. <laughs> Only boring people get bored. I'm sorry, Professor. If you're bored, then you're boring. I remember that as a lyric from a song. Liberty and the irony are killing me. Oh, I'm not sick, but I'm not well. <laughs> remember that song? So Central Station, All Water District, or Out of Order. This location <clears throat> is not accessible via your permission slip. And you know it. And you know it. They tell you that. Now, wait a minute. If it's out of order specifically just for you, why would it say that physically on the elevator? Because other people could go there, right? That's kind of weird that they have it taped up. Who comes and removes this when someone who they can travel there gets in the elevator, right? Huh. Oh, all water district. Wait, what? No, we were in all water district. Oh, shit. Get back in there. We're going to central district. Excuse me, central station. <laughs> Ew, the water looks like jelly. Get <laughs> sucked into the jelly. <laughs> Flagpole Sitta, that was the name of the song. There you go. I got it. Look at this. Tubular. Make your first trip in the all water tube. All right. So, by the way, before we continue, I need to know how the volume sounds. If you guys could let me know if the, the volume levels are good, I'd appreciate that. Uh, I received a $3 tip. I'm getting daily quests from Game Pass. Tip goal suggestion. Continue to do small daily tip goals. If you hit all tip goals by the end of your streaming week, the viewers will pick a small indie rage casual fun game for you to play next. Like an ultimate big tip goal to incentivize trying to hit the goals every day. So you're saying have daily tip goals, but have a weekly tip goal for a bigger reward. Hmm. I guess we'd have to figure out what that could be. I mean, the thing is about doing that, like what you suggested, <clears throat> it's nearly impossible to have everyone vote on one thing and have it work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have to narrow it down to certain ideas or selections. It couldn't just be like, if we hit the tips goal for the week, we have open nominations for any game. It would take forever to figure that out. I guess that's something we could work out, though. What do you guys think about a weekly tips goal? So how does it sound? Could be a little louder, in my opinion. The game is quiet. Oh, okay. Hold on. All right. I will up the game by one decibel. You guys tell me how this sounds. If it's still not good enough, I can up it by another decibel. But I want to be sure that I'm not going too much and then all of a sudden I'm overpowered. Okay. Now, in the meantime, you guys voted for the fake hair hat today. So I'll go get that. Quickly. Also, as, during that first segment when I was trying to pay attention to the game, I had two people trying to distract me, telling me that I guess some Mortal Kombat streamer 
mentioned me on their stream, and then someone said LTG mentioned you on their stream. Okay, so please notify those streamers that I'm busy. I'm playing Harold Halibut. I don't have time for them. I, I can't pay attention. Okay? It's more important. All right, let's continue. <laughs> tell them that, too. Be sure to tell them that. But I assure you, it will be for the good of your overall long-term tube traveling experience. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Ah, oh, as of yet, there is no discount scheme in place, as we calculated the possible inconvenience to be negligible. Wouldn't need a discount if the prices weren't so high in the first place. Oh, listen to this argument. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. So what can you comment on? I am authorized to comment on the nature of the tube closure, which is that all water have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. Yes, you said that. Have these improvements been carried out before? How long is this I conversation? I say if the exact same optimizations have been made to another line. So what can you comment on? I can confirm that there is no discount scheme in place, <laughs> and that we believe the fares to be fair. So who calculates the fair, fair oh price? Oh my god! I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. This is ridiculous! Can I talk to your manager? Certainly, sir. If you'd just like to go to the all-water public office, and make a managerial communication meeting request with Secretary 24 there. Finally. The reason, sir, it's still going. All water have had to close the line to oh, improvement works. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't currently Finally, we got far enough away that you don't hear it anymore. Well, that was unique. So depending on how close you are, you can hear a conversation, and the conversations are all unique and keep going. Huh. There's a clothesline. line. What is that supposed to be? It shows a guy, like, shoveling something, but I don't know what it is. He's shoveling shit? Maybe that's the, like, a janitor. Janitor's closet. That's a social district? Agora Arcades? What is this? I don't know. I can't go into this. Then do I go in here? Yes. So, we're at Central Station. There's Agora Arcades, the Lab District, the Energy District, or Out of Order. This location is not accessible via your permission slip. And you know it. Huh. Some people are saying Monkey Island or Grim Fandango vibes. It's been a while since I played either of those franchises. Um, where should we go? I, I assume she works at the lab. She wants us to go to the labs, but can you explore the other areas now? I'm just curious if this works. Is not accessible via your mission slip. And you know it. This location is not accessible via your mission slip. And you know it. I guess we're going to the lab district. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Yeah, it's proximity dialogue. Where the closer you are to them, you hear when you're further away, you can't really hear them anymore. Has that ever happened in a game like proximity dialogue like that? I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in a... Extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Uh -huh. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I feel like the game's gonna be pretty big, huh? Like the, the place that this underwater city seems like it's pretty large. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again. And they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who Quiet, Harold. Uh -huh. We don't have Shut time up. for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Woman, she oh, cut yeah. him off when he said woman. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? <gasps> and did you need to feed the fish too? Ah, uh, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? My kids! Uh, my kiss for good luck. I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. <laughs> you seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. 
Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Yeah, it was a big oh, lecture. Thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. <laughs> Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? <laughs> Isn't oh, anything. Right the pad. Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Open or close your PDA. Okay. Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop so to it. So she's basically describing the buttons on the controller. The, the rightmost button, done. the bottom button. Huh. Okay, go back. Go back. Got it. See that? That's interesting. That they're referencing the buttons on the controller. It's like breaking the fourth wall. <clears throat> huh. What is this? Like, like, what is that green stuff? Ooh, or something. Hovering in the air. The environments look so... The game is weird because the environments look real. But then you look and they're painted like puppets. So it like throws you off because you think you're you're getting immersed in it looking realistic. And then you, you're jarred realizing it's fake. You know what I mean? It's such a unique art style. This. The bathroom? Can I take a dump? Oh, what is this room? What is this? It's like a messy ass room. Nothing in it. I can't, I can't figure this out. Derek, what's going on? He says, happy Tuesday, last day before my trip. So you'll be gone soon, Derek. I wish you the best. Hopefully we'll get to see you right before you leave. And uh, thanks for the for the membership popping there. I, uh, I guess that's it. It's a dead end. Can I go this way? What's this? What is that? It's like a suit, like an underwater suit. Can I go in here? The tube? No, I can't go in the tube. Maybe I have to check the PDA. It's going to tell me what to do. So, messages. None. To do. So, main tasks. Clean the filter station. Moreau told me to clean the filter station like always or feed the fish. Moreau reminded me to feed the fish. Can I add? You can't, like, add a thing, an objective. Like, I was like, oh, can you make a waypoint or something? I guess not. I guess this just tells you what to do. Add-ons? I want some space toast. Oh, here we go. What happened? Oh, no. I think it glitched. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? Space toast? Space toast, nothing but space toast. I have no clue what this is supposed to be. Systems, account, bump. What in the hell is this? Center balance, central torquets. What the fuck is a core center torquet? Central torquets. What? <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? Uh, parse memory lines. The row channel, feed channel, and dock channel? It's like they invented shit just to mess with you, so you think it's, it's like doesn't do anything. Look. What is that? Doculates? Oh, I love my doculates. Every day, I spend countless hours adjusting and, and uh, you know, calibrating my doculates. What the hell's a doculate? 18 Fant 09? What does this all mean? I have no idea. Who knows, right? Uh, thank you. Dark Viking. 34 months as a member says, what the hell is this game? It looks silly. Yeah, I don't know. We're trying to figure that out right now. Uh, it looks weird. Oh, I see, Derek. All right, well, thanks for stopping by today. Hopefully your trip is a safe one and a good one. Uh, I just received a $19 tip from Darren. It says, I wanted to let you know something positive. I was watching a YouTuber named Super... Uh, he said on live stream how much he respects you, and you actually inspired him to start gameplay commentary in the Call of Duty days. He did? Really? That's bizarre. Someone said something nice about me? That's not possible. You must be misquoting this person. This person must hate my guts. And you just thought that they were saying something nice because you were, like, high or something. I can't imagine someone else said something nice about Darkside Phil. Usually it's like... You know, usually it's like... You know, if I had to 
shove my face into a pile of dog shit and snort or watch Dark Side Phil. I'd watch Dark Side Phil instead, but it's very close. Like, that's usually what people would say about me, and it'd be like, oh, that's the kind of compliment I get. So if this guy actually says something nice that's very nice about them and th tell them, thank you. If that's true, that's very nice of them that they said that. I wonder if they said that. Okay. All right. So thank you to Darren. Very, very much. And what's unfortunate is this, if this person super is known for Mortal Kombat content, sadly, I hate Mortal Kombat 1. So they're probably playing Mortal Kombat 1, saying nice things about me, and here I am slamming the game. Well, it is what it is, I guess. I just don't like Mortal Kombat 1. Okay. <clears throat> Cool. What is that? I don't know. What the hell that is? Dinosaur? Is that a, supposed to be like a dinosaur toy or statue up there? I guess. Perhaps. So how would I go about doing my tasks? What's this? Is this the vent I need to fix? I open the door. I don't want to open the door. No, no, no. I don't want to go. No, no, no. Oh, what's this? What the hell? What the heck is this? What am I looking at? What did I just do? <laughs> I can't tell what any of that is. What are those things supposed to be? Uh. Bed. I have a bed. What's that? And I can interact with over here? No. I guess this is where he stays. This must be his place, right? Derek, Derek, enjoy your lunch. Carlton Jr. said this is like a modern point-and-click game other than that one Groundhog Day game we played a few years ago. Groundhog Day game? I played a Groundhog Day game? I did? I don't remember playing a Groundhog Day game, but okay. Well... What do I do here? I can't interact with this stuff. Did I press this button again? What was the point of that? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, the game where I can relive in the scenario in the apartment. Oh, yeah. That was a good game. That was true. Except that, that it was fucking got really odd halfway through. But it was an interesting game. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, there's no map in the game, right? I mean, this is it. There's, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I could zoom in with left trigger. I didn't know that. Zoom in with left trigger. See that? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I said feed the fish and fix a filter. The only thing we really have is this button. Is there a lever in the background? You see like a lever there you can pull maybe? Yes. Here we go. It's out of food. So is that what this is? Better ask Cyrus about this. Ask Cyrus? Ask. Ask Cyrus about fish food? Who the hell is Cyrus? Probably you have to figure out what the food is and get it out of that grid there. But I don't know, you know. Can we call Cyrus on his phone? How do I talk to Cyrus? Who is Cyrus? Better ask Cy Who is Cyrus? Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who I thought? Who's Cyrus? Uh, I can't interact with anything else it doesn't look like, right? <clears throat> what about in the corner over here, this panel? Anything with that? Nope, all we do is go in the room that has nothing in it. So I guess we leave and we find Cyrus? I will well put this away. I guess this is, maybe this is the food we'll get to ask Cyrus what fish eat and then take the food out of there. Right? 
don't know what the whole fix the filter system thing is, though. I don't know how to do that. Oh, can we walk any faster? No. Oh, yes. If you hold X, you jog. Ooh, is this Cyrus? Ah, uh, Harold. Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. Senor Tenenbaum. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Duh! Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Ah. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. You might be suffering from halitosis. Try Magpie Toothpaste and make that mouth stink go away. Oh. Oh, you have a choice now. You have a dialogue choice. I was like, what is this menu? Oh, there's a dialogue choice. Okay. 12 minutes. That's what the game was called. People are saying. Okay, 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Derek, I wish you the best. I hope you enjoy your two week stay in Malaysia, Taiwan, and everywhere else you're going. And be safe. We'll see you when you get back. Thanks a lot. Okay. Don Zhu asks, what brings you to the lounge or by Chris? Let's say, what brings you to the lounge? What brings you to the lounge, anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. He's a teacher. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. Uh. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. What is this show he wants to watch? What is Sun Tzu's Ask? Yes. Sun Tzu's Ask. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. <laughs> Turkish novella. I thought season 18 was bad. Well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. Ah. I'll try to check it out. This would be like a soap opera. Right, Chris. A TV soap opera. See you opera. later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. So we need something from a teacher. We know where to come. The lounge. Okay. Level 2. WC? The water closet. It's the bathroom. All right. Oh God, the door's glitching. Look. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. 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 Holy crap. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a glitchy water closet. Oh. 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 The door. <laughs> <laughs> can I warp through the game? Maybe I can warp, flip through the game, and go to the final room of the game and beat it speedrunner style here. With these bathroom doors. Here we go. Hold on. Let's push the two glitchy bathroom doors together. Oh, God. Oh, no. I got stuck. Okay, let's go back. Here we go. And, and. Oh! <laughs> Very nice. I want to push both. What if I push this one in? What happens? It pushes you back out, it looks like. It's not even on a hinge. They float. But they're not even on a hinge. They just kind of float the doors. See that? What if I push this door in at this angle, right? And then if I go slightly right into the other door like this. And then they do this. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop messing with the doors. Jared, thank you for the super chat. He says, I haven't seen Claymation in gaming since Celebrity Deathmatch. This is interesting. It's a cool animation style. It's, it's unique to say the least, right? Is definitely unique. Filtration pump. Okay. To the left. The botanical concepts and observatory. Doesn't look like you can go to the observatory. Botanical concepts. Look at this. Whoa, neat. Hey, Cy. Oh, hey, Harold. Diamond. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. 
Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer for what the slow release phosphates and nitrogen, but we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the. Sai, Sai. <laughs> that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. Mm. But, I mean, can fish even taste? Uh -huh. It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. <laughs> new fish He's food eccentric. would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it, promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some, too. Uh, you should try some, thanks. too. I'll let you know what they think. Well, we got the fish food. El Grey Zero, no, I did not see the Pinocchio. What the? We're free out here. Oh, did you see that? What the? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first message? So the fish are hyper intelligent? Uh, yeah. What? Wasn't something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers, handwritten too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? What? What is going on? There's hyper intelligent fish? <laughs> okay. What is this game? I, good question. I don't know. I don't know what, what this game is right now. Is there something about the, no, the note keepers? Is this there was a notebook? But I don't know where the notebook is. It had mentioned a notebook. But I don't see the notebook, so I don't know how you access it. Well, we got fish food. That part's done. <clears throat> what about f feeding or uh, fixing the system? That was the other objective. Do we do it here? <clears throat> no, that doesn't open. Here's a tentacle. Look. The tentacle on the window. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, it's dark and grimy here. Ew. Oh, I can't do anything. There's a lever, but I can't seem to pull it. What about to the left? Ah, this. Oh, what the hell? What am I looking at? What is happening here? What the fuck? Why? Uh? What am I do? I have no idea what this is or what I'm doing. What am I supposed to be doing here? Is that the symbol on the first one? I think it is. Yeah, see? Did it work? Did it... What? I don't get it. 
<laughs> I don't understand what the hell is going on. This was the symbol. Well, what are we doing here? Like, oh, oh, wait, look. That's it. That was the task. It's done. That was my task. I have a note. Oh, this is the notebook. Oh, he writes, he scribbles in the notebook the things that he's run into. So there's the guy, Chris, trying to watch a tarot novella, right? There's, I don't know what that's supposed to be in the bottom right hand corner. Thieves or something? And then a fish with a sign. See that? He has the fish with the sign in the upper right hand corner. Oh, you can't see it. My camera's blocking it. Well, this is a weird game, but I guess we just did the first mission, and now we gotta go feed the fish. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, sure. I mean, there's absolutely no way to know that's what you were supposed to do. I just ma messed about and pressed random buttons, and, uh, and somehow it worked. Alright, so now we have this thing, this fish, food. Elgrey Zoro says there's a problem with my return to Elden Ring playlist it has 239 thumbnails. Oh really? Is it the same video twice or did I accidentally uh have two part 39s, I wonder. I look quick. Okay. very quick so you're absolutely right I have two part 39s <laughs> I screwed it all up I, I ended on part 39 and then I resumed it a year later with part 39 so now all the numbering is off by one hmm do I bother fixing that Or do I just leave it? Maybe I could just, uh... Maybe I'll just put a note and say part 39-2, right? Like, <laughs> I might have to do that. Part 39-2. What am I... I'm trying to type... I did. I, I named it part 39-2. Of course, that's very confusing, but the thing is, to redo all those thumbnails is not worth it at all. Like, it's totally not worth it. Can you imagine me redoing all those thumbnails from scratch because I, I numbed it wrong? Like, I don't... And by the way, I've been doing Elden Ring for, what, two weeks? You're the first person who even noticed. Right? <laughs> so, I think I'll just do that. I say I have 39-2 on the second 39. All right, here we go. Thanks for pointing that out, by the way. Okay, he put the food in. Little fishing, your little dishy is now served. Where did they go to eat? Okay. Okay, Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. Scanning, scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation minimal. <laughs> Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination Agora Arcades. Go to the Agora Arcades. Now, wait a minute. So it sounds like he's going to go relax and do like, like uh, leisure stuff. Isn't that how he got into trouble? That they said that he went there, he didn't have the credits for it. And now he's going to go do it again. It sounds like this guy just doesn't learn. He's gonna freaking do the same thing the second time and get in trouble. Watch.
<laughs> He's gonna get in trouble again. They said you didn't have the money before. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. That's a no. That's done. <laughs> Watch the announcement. Okay. I guess from the lounge. Oh, he's watching it. Hello again. He's watching this telenovela. Hey, ticket not working. <clears throat> Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Well, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. <laughs> we chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. What is his hair? <laughs> but our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. Hmm. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castledrop. <laughs> Here's a block. Looks like pound Good cake or something. You all. <laughs> As you may know, I am Brenna Castledrop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora, just like you. Oh, so they're, and they're it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've Looks been like on fudge. together. Chocolate Before fudge. Before we unveil the next step of that journey. Oh man, I want chocolate fudge. <laughs> How dare you? It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. This is that cool, dream this is began like at the, the height models. of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. Oh, look at this. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlipmeyer Oh my Foundation, God! It's just like the vault and vault deck. It's all out. As a gesture of care for the human race. Yep. That ship journeyed for two hundred years, wow. was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply. All the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. Huh. <laughs> we had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. <laughs> and of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. Earth is extinct. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. Mm. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could. That they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. <laughs> Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy. So we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. Huh. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. What a what a weird plot, huh? Sure. 
Makes for some nice gossip. <laughs> but I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. See you later to Mark. Thanks for stopping by. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Errol. So... Earth is gone. They're on an alien planet. It's all water. They have no idea what's going on on this all-water planet. So, they're launching a probe to figure that out. Okay. <clears throat> Carlton Jr. says, reminds me of Bioshock, Fallout, and Starfield post-apocalyptic concepts put together. Yeah, it's, it, the plot is actually kind of intriguing, but it's funny that the characters are all just kind of like, meh, big deal, right? <laughs> Look at this, Fisher dining. Look at this, the Fisher eating. That's nice, the Fisher eating together. And then there's a picture of the buoy. Yeah, there's the bu they're gonna send the buoy to get a signal from the planet's surface. See that? All right, now it's time to sleep. You declared snooze in time. I wish my bed wasn't right below Moreau's lab. She's such a noisy night owl. Really? What does she do? Oh God, what does she do? She gets drunk. She starts like dancing. Right? She's like a, uh, she's like a street dancer. She's like, do do do. She's like doing all fucking moves and shit. Fuck as hell. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. <laughs> Alright, Captain DCW, see you later. He's like, this ain't for me. Listen, some games are not exactly action-based, right? But this game is certainly if unique is the right word for it. I don't think I've ever played a game like this before. <laughs> All right, Carlton Jr. says, I think what the last few years has taught us is that humans don't take anything seriously. <laughs> oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. Yeah, you did so much work today. But Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. What a rough day he had, feeding the fish and pressing a couple buttons. <laughs> Day 18,250 AC after the crash. Anyone do math on that? Figure out how many years that is? Divide by 365? I wonder. I'm sure someone will do the math here in the chat. We'll figure it out in a sec. All right, so what happened while he was asleep? Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. <laughs> yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it will make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. Oh. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? No. Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Mm. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? <laughs> this will be the last <clears throat> time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Okay. 50 years, is that true? Someone said it's 50 years. Okay, so they've crashed 50 years ago. I mean, that means Harold was born on the ship. And that would mean someone like her probably was a kid. Depends how old she is, you can't really tell. <laughs> now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Which next to the door opens the sample shelf? The sample shelf. Oh, over here. 
So those were samples that we were lowering earlier, not pieces of food. Okay. Nathan, thank you very much for a gifted membership. It went to 90s guy. Congrats, 90s guy. Enjoy. Bon killer did a super chat. He said, do you still have the hat with all the lures on it? I do, but we put so many lures on the hat that the hat is, like, dangerous with big hooks and stuff, so I don't like to wear it anymore. Um, but maybe what we'll do is if we ever get a fishing game again, we can start over and re-add lures to it and redesign it a bit. So this is the specimen, the blue rock. Okay. Thank you, Spawn Killer, and thank you, Nathan, for the support there. Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. I will. Hold on. Okay, microscope right there. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. Is that what that is? There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one for... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. Hmm. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Okay, a new person. <laughs> hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're Microwave Boy. What? So, you do remember me. Uh... Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Hmm. Are we in some kind of trouble? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Uh, Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. You guys talk about these bloomy rocks. Did you guys talk about the bloomy rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. All right, so I'm gonna talk to her about a power issue. That's not good, they're running out of power. So... Dare I ask, what is it? Bridget told me about some kind of energy storage. So, energy shortage. Bridget told me. me about some kind of energy shortage and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. It's speculative, and now isn't the time. That all? Huh. All right, that's okay. Oh, no. Go okay. info there. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. We're off to find this Tommy guy, who's her husband, and see if he has blue rocks to Harold, inspect. When you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? No. I'm sure thing, Professor. Well, you can pay me for Just it. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. Mm -hmm. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <laughs> don't mind <laughs> me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. 
Actually, Harold. No. Nope. It's okay. Nothing. Run along now. That was about. All right, so we have to talk to Cyrus and talk to Tommy. Cyrus, you think he's still in the lounge? You think he's moved? If he's in the lounge. This will be easy. Guess we'll find out. He is gone. Ya sorduğumuzu bilenler bize korkuturlarsa. Şimdi senin yanında olduğum için korkmuyorum. You can relax in the lounge. Look at this. You can watch the telenovela. Oh yes. Gerçeklerden ürküyorum. Çünkü bir bulut görüyorum. Ne diyorsun ne bulutu? Hani nerede? Ne zaman? Niye? Nasıl olur? Nerede gördün? Bulutun içinde çok güzel bir kadın görüyorum. Hayır, hayır, ne olamaz. Ben hiç kadın hatırlamıyorum. Oysa ki ben senin ihanetini bakıyor ve görüyorum. Yoshi slapped. Tanrım neler oluyor? What the hell? She slapped the dude. I wonder what he said. Is your face feeling tired and puffy? I wonder what he said. She slapped his ass. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know where this Tommy guy is. Probably not here, right? We probably have to go into the lift if it works and go to another district. Jesus, I don't know if I like this. I mean, I don't know if I like it either. We're trying to figure this out. You would think probably the Agora Arcades. Destination selected. All right. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Probably the arcades where we'll find a, a shop, right? You may now exit the tube. Utterly right. uh -oh. unconcerned for your own safety. No respect for authority. Want some disregard for the future of humanity. Uh oh. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold. Come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? <laughs> hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! What? I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. <laughs> I should have known you'd be wrapped up in uh -oh. this. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or uh -oh. organizational merit? What? No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me, Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? <laughs> unless you're in league with him. I just meant... I mean, if you just relax... Relax? <laughs> Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beat. <laughs> uh, but, but, what did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? What? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the <laughs> What the heck? This is madness. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. <laughs> what is Where going on? Anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh, no. Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix... Do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But, Major, <laughs> what is the subject? <laughs> That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. <laughs> Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix. He's gone. Where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold, you've lost him. Ugh. Wow. What a game. What a game. This is... The game feels real, does it not? Like, it's the writing is, is funny and bizarre and weird. 
and it feels like these are real people getting into pr trouble and problems and stuff. <laughs> What a weird... I don't mean... At this point, is it even a game yet? It doesn't even feel like a game yet, does it? It just seems like we're along for the ride of this weird-ass story. Well, I guess we'll continue on. I, except you're lost? I think you're supposed to be lost. That's the point. Like, there's nothing to get. It's just really an odd game, right? All right, well, let me know what you think in the comments of this video about Harold Halibut so far. I'm going to be playing two more hours of it today, and we're going to see what we think by the end of the stream. But in the meantime, thank you to everyone here live. You've been a great audience, and I will see you all on demand on part two.